brief was to make a uh, C segment SUV for the urban environment. So the car had to look robust, so it kind of had a storing appearance in the, in the urban environment. But on the other hand, we also wanted to do a, a nice sculpture, sculpture, which had an agile appearance in the city. So kind of, on the one hand, strong, but on the other hand, also very dynamic. So on the front, we have the typical spindle grill. And this time, we didn't made it too big, but because of the fenders going diagonal out, gives a lot more space to create a lot of volume from the spindle grill appearing to the body side. The spindle pattern grows from the logo and goes towards the, the LED fibers which it has. So it's expanding the, the, the spindle shape of not being just a graphic simply for, for the spindle grill. Basically it's casted aluminium, so same as the seat, so we have the inside out story. So linking the materials both from the inside and the outside. So as I said uh, before, the, the robust and agile approach also comes back to how we constructed the whole architecture of this car. So the car looks very fluid, but in fact it's a very robust and strong volume which has been created. So if you wouldn't link the architecture together, the car would not remain fluid. But each element is constructed with strong plan views and how they interact together, the two plan views, creates the fluidity of the sculpture. So there was not the goal of just creating a fluid design in the beginning, but it's basically the link which creates a fluid language. So on the body side, we're going to see we're having the big fenders coming out here and again shooting out on the back. And the center body side is basically linked from this front, which where the spindle, uh, spindle grill appears. And where we have the intersection is where we have the fluid sculpture. On the corner of the car, we have again the, the fenders appearing very three-dimensional and have basically been sculptured into the spindle shape. Secondly, we wanted to express a very horizontal feeling of the car. So we had this really three-dimensional light, which creates a horizontal feeling, but also creating the inside-out story where it's going to dive into the interior and creating the headrest. On the same side, the corner of the car are very treated very aerodynamic. So the fins here and the fins on the corner creates an efficient styling as well. So bringing a new factor into a SUV. In terms of uh, inspiration, we were really uh, focused on the, on the lightness. Whatever which is light, we wanted to give this impression of, uh, of security, but also open feeling. It's why these small gaps allowed to have this uh, huge visibility and also to create uh, safety, because it's really important is a SUV so need to provide uh, solidity and strength. Also, the stripes give a kind of agile feeling. So for the soundbar in the IP, the stripes allowed to make a kind of vibration, which is used to diffuse the sound inside all the interior. The infotainment in this car should be the most flexible as possible. That means for a young generation, they should be able to choose their own layout. So it's why uh, there's no fixed position can be uh, adapt to, to the usage. Regarding the, the center console, there's an hologram, and this hologram can be used by the driver from this side and also from the passenger. So that means we redefine completely the way we interact with the surface. And this hologram will be controlled by gesture control. Other priority is the trackpad in the console will control the center display in front, and the speedometer will basically be animated uh, his own with the uh, with the rest of the uh, of the interface. So the seat frame is made with uh, metal aluminium casting. So it's one part of aluminium, and uh, it's really dense and uh, at the same time it's light. So it's why we choose this uh, this material. And the stripes are made with uh, two two pieces of leather glued together and give solidity to them. The the concept of the car was shared with uh, with Japan, of course. We discuss a lot to achieve this kind of unique uh, construction of uh, inside out and agile and, uh, and robust feeling. It was a close collaboration with us. Our target for this car to redefine the Lexus uh, standing language was to combining different elements. Also in the architecture, you are at the driver position, you have a kind of cockpit feeling. And when you sit as a passenger, you have different aspect which is more protected and when you move to the rear bench you have also the, the space feeling so in this car 
whatever you sit on the driver passenger or in the rear space, you have different approach and you feel the car in a completely different way. It was really a challenge to create uh, this different uh, environment because uh, the interior is so small and you have to express many things inside. So how you can get this feature harmonized, this was uh, kind of the, the biggest challenge. And I think we achieved uh, achieve the goal, both exterior and interior, and uh, the car itself is really homogeneous.